guys, Anna-Marie Lombard here. I'm the founder and CEO of Century Intelligence Consulting. I want to talk to you about work-life integration. Now, firstly, business as usual is dead and work-life balance does not exist. I know it's two kind of quite harsh statements to make, but I'm sure you will agree with me thinking of how the world has changed since the outbreak of COVID-19. So um, businesses are often now using or sending staff to work from their home environments. And this means that suddenly your home, which was kind of your haven and your safe place, safe place, now is also your working environment. So which really adds a very different dynamic to it. And then work-life balance doesn't exist because work-life balance suggests that we give them equal time and attention, and that is impossible. And talking from personal experience, I'm a workaholic. I love my job. I love this business. I've been doing it for so long. Work-life integration is a challenge for me personally as well, but it is so important. But there are some rules and habits that we really want to share with you. And if you get the knowledge and the insight, then next level to implement it becomes so much easier. So three things, work, life, integration. If we talk about work, <clears throat> there's three things that we will suggest. Your time, your workflow, and your breaks, because that is going to help you to move from work in a productive state to moving to life. Life is family and kids. Those of you who don't have kids, it does make life easier. I do have kids, I love them to bits, but it does mean there's an extra level of complexity and navigation that we have to do. And family and kids should come first. So we also have to bring that into the equation. Uh, and then social, because social is really important for us to have that balance act. And then also self-care. We also need to turn into our own needs and what do we need in attending to those needs. Then thirdly, integration. <clears throat> integration firstly is rules and boundaries because if you don't set rules and have particular boundaries, you're not going to obtain any level of work-life integration. So that's really, really important. And then we also talk about quality versus quantity. And we want to shift you towards appreciating quality versus quantity. It's not how much we do, but it's how well we do what we do. For instance, an interaction with my son, I could have a five minute, really quality, deep connection with my son. And they are 21 and 16. So, you know, you really need that versus spending a whole hour with them and not really making a connection. That's what I mean by quality versus quantity. And we explore that in various, in various aspects. And then the other very difficult elusive thing is when to stop we've heard that from a lot of our clients a lot of the audiences that we've been working with working from home means you leave your office or your desk and then you suddenly move into your home space when do you make that switch in other words when to stop so we put a lot of time and energy into learning when to stop so this is just briefly our take on work-life integration where we blend um, neuroscience background, research, we are healthcare professionals, century processing is our speciality. We've been working with this for so many years <clears throat> in trying to impart insider knowledge for you to really get the hang on work-life integration. So I hope to see you at the other end of the screen. Please stay safe and take care. Cheers.